fired a gun that had a bullet which ended up killing him while he was live on Instagram. The accident happened it's on a What's good, YouTube? KJP Smooth, we back with another video. So, I'm gonna try this thing like do like vlogs, not vlogs, but like videos every day. I'm gonna just see if I get into it. I'm not sure, I'm not sure. But if I do vlogs every day, but, um, I got a video for y'all. This teenager accidentally dies live on Instagram as friends watch. That sounds crazy. That sounds crazy, bro. Can't you be smooth? You did. If you hear that fan, my fans in the back, I get hot mad quick. Just a click could take you wherever you want. The internet has become something as Internet is a whole world on its own. Just a click could take you wherever you want. The internet has become something essential in our lives. It is indeed useful, but it is a double-edged weapon too. Depending on how you use the internet and for what purposes. Moreover, the social media now has replaced telephone calls and emails. Not to mention letters since you guys might think it is outdated. However, letters are more expressive. Anyway, the social media right now is consuming our lives completely. It is shaping how we think and how we deal with others behind our computer or mobile phone screen. That is a fact. No funny. That is a fact. Like, people nowadays have different sides than they had on social media. Like, you make them, you, you'll see them on social media, you'll think they're this type of person, but behind closed doors, they're really this type of person. You see that a lot as you get older. Like, I'm 18, and I'm seeing that more and more as I get older. It's crazy. A very big number of teenagers are obsessed with the social media, like Facebook. Y'all are mad aggy, yo. I didn't hear. I thought you were talking to you. I'm vlogging. I'm not. No, I'm doing a, a reaction video. Oh, my bad. I let you be. My bad. <laughs> my fault. I really thought you were talking. Let me be on it. Let me be in it, though. No, you're not. What time? What time? What time? You're always in these videos. You're like in three videos. Exactly. What time? Nah, it's KJP Smooth. You, you, it's not not King Smooth. Back up. <laughs> Back up. One side. Mm -mm. I'd be like, like. Wait, what are you reacting to? A video, dang, yo. A video. Go. Is it like a tweet video? Go. <laughs> Y'all are aggy. Siblings, man. WhatsApp, Snapchat, and Instagram. They think it's so cool to keep their friends updated with their news so they go live on FB and IG. No matter how hard parents try to set limits when it comes to the internet for their children, they always intentionally or unintentionally seem to break those boundaries one way or another. It is a huge web. How do you think you can easily control it when everything is accessible with just one click? I don't think it's a good idea to check your children's internet history. Be sure to subscribe to Did You Know and hit the bell so you never miss an upload from us. Also, leave a like right now. Social media is dangerous. It certainly is. Sites like YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram provide their users with a variety of videos and news that could be totally fake and untrue. What is more, the things posted on those sites lure people to do dangerous stuff under the name of fun and adventure. You already know that every now and then there is a trend that goes viral and almost everybody learns about it. Those trends could be challenges that could actually end someone's life He's if they bugging. try them out. For example, there was a challenge called the Sticky Tape Challenge. In that challenge, the person has to stick himself to something or even the ceiling then try to break free. Yeah, these challenges are being challenges, a force the challenges fell on his head and went through post-traumatic aneurysm. There is another challenge that ended up killing a four-year-old boy after he tried it. 
the, the challenge cinnamon challenge? Is to swallow a big amount of cinnamon without drinking water at all. It doesn't seem risky, does it? It is risky and life threatening because cinnamon can cause breathing problems. Cinnamon lovers, don't worry. We mean the powder cinnamon here in that challenge and not cinnamon cakes and donuts. Some parents aren't always updated with these challenges that keep on luring teenagers. But, dear parents, you need to watch out and have every right to worry because it is dangerous there on social media. Yo, actually, I tried that challenge with my sister when I was like. I forgot. I think I was like. 10. When I tell you. Yo, don't do that. Don't do that. I felt in my. In my. My. my oh my neck! Well, don't do that. Yeah, yo, don't do that. Just check what your children are doing and what they're watching. You know how to stop them. That kid looks nervous. 13 year old Malachi Hempel from America accidentally fired a gun that had a bullet which ended up killing him while he was live on Instagram. Accident happened on the 10th of April after Malachi took out the trash. The boy went live in front of his friends on Instagram holding a gun. After the accident, the mother realized that one of his followers provoked him by saying that the gun wasn't loaded. Malachi wanted to impress his viewers, so while he was trying to reload the gun, he accidentally shot fire. When his mother and sister heard the loud noise in his room, they ran quickly and found him lying on the floor. The mother found beside him his mobile phone, and he was live on Instagram during the gunshot. They took him immediately to the hospital, but he died at the end. His friends, who were watching his live on IG, ran to his house after witnessing this tragedy. His mother kept weeping and said she had no idea where he got that gun from. She assumed that one of his friends may have given it to him. She kept lamenting that he was her only son and she would always be haunted by his image when he was lying on the floor dead. The police and the boy's family assured that it was an accident and not a suicide. The Atlanta Journal-Constitution, AGC, remarked. One of his family members explained, he loved life, he played with a gun, and it started. Social media has a lot of demerits that affect teenagers and children negatively in their lives. The posts they share and their videos they watch lead to disturbing their psychology and their mindset. A lot of teenagers suffer from anxiety, depression, and isolation because of the social media that entraps them and shapes their mentalities. Why does music low-key sound like Saw? And advise more often that not everything that is posted on social media is safe, correct, and has Yeah, low key sound like Saw. There are many things that are photoshopped That's smart. just to bring more viewers, likes, comments, and shares. So after watching this video, please don't try any of the challenges That's just dumb. That previously mentioned. I bet you don't even know that duct tape is poison to the mouth. Like you put duct tape in your mouth, you can die from that. And she's the one I'm doing now, Instagram for views. and help in raising people's awareness. Oh, it's 14 years old. Fourteen. My brother just turned fourteen, y'all. Oh, he was 13. That just comes to show you that nowadays, these kids will do anything for views. And they're getting brainwashed at a young age. Why does he have a gun in the first place?
that's all for the mom and that all, that's all the mom's fault too because why does your kid at 13 have a gun meanwhile all his friends are standing right there too and his friends are the one provoking him saying oh you should do that you should just shoot it it's not loaded like what that's dumb for the kid to even assume or even want to like oh yeah let me get a gun that's not loaded and still shoot it like why would you even like put yourself in that situation and like i don't want to seem disrespectful because he's like r.i.p to this kid but it's like for real yo you can't be doing this stupid stuff and you're so young focus on school Thirteen. Thirteen. Am I like? Why does it have to be a black person too? Like, why, it's always a black person that messes up and does dumb stuff like this for entertainment, and then. That just comes to show, like, that she didn't know. She assumed a friend gave it to him. Why does he hang out with friends like that in the first place? Boy, was 13. Why are you on guns for at 13 years old? This just comes to show, like, you need to pay attention to your kids. Don't have kids, you're not going to be able to pick it, like, Take care of them, pay attention to what they have, like what they're doing. Don't have kids if you can't pay attention to them. You can't have kids. Boy, was 13, hanging around people with guns. That's crazy. 13 years old, shot himself by accident. Does that even sound right? Lights going. That don't even sound right. Thirteen years old, accidentally shoots himself on live, and then on top of that, he probably went live with hundreds of people watching him. You have all them kids watching that and seeing him shoot himself. That's freaking nuts. I have a brother, he's 14 now. If I ever seen that boy have a gun or anything, or hang on people with guns, he's getting a beat down. Straight up. And he was, he was the only child too. Where's his dad at? That's where it starts from. If it's a single mom, mom's not gonna take care of himself. It's a freaking boy. Buggy. That just comes to show why you need two parties. You can't just have a single mom raising a kid by themselves. It's not how you do things. Where's the dad at? I guarantee the dad was there. Shoot. So yeah, this kid shoots himself at 13. Four year old dies from a cinnamon challenge. And you got the parents doing this stuff too. You got it. four years old? A cinnamon challenge? Like what?
is a limit. That's crazy.